When you think of a farm, you're probably not thinking of the city. And likewise, when you think of a farmer, you may not be picturing a D.C. area millennial. But you may want to think about that again. As ABC 7's Sam Sweeney shows us, urban farming and millennial farmers are sprouting up. Down an unmarked trail at a monastery in Northeast D.C., you might not expect a farm delivering to some of D.C.'s top restaurants. We call it the secret garden. Um, <laughs> it's not, not a place that most people know about here in D.C. And in this unmarked warehouse near Union Market, you probably wouldn't expect an indoor farm. We grew over 6,500 pounds of food last year on um, less than 5,000 square feet of space. But that's exactly what's happening. Meet Mary Aki, a young entrepreneur and she's innovating the way America farms. I actually started growing vegetables in the beginning, and I just brought little baskets of vegetables to chefs in my neighborhood, and it really started there. And then now we've scaled up, and we serve um, more than 50 restaurants in the D.C. area, everything from Michelin star to fast casual. Mary and her team of six employees don't just grow regular fruits and vegetables. They grow microgreens, smaller, nutrient-packed greens, ready to eat just days after planting. Microgreens in general um, have about four to six times the nutrient density of the fully grown version of the plant. Mary's company, Little Wild Things, uses small, underutilized outdoor spaces in the district. 80% of her farming is done indoors. And when chefs call, Mary and her team deliver, and they do it quickly. We get it cut and harvested, and we can have it delivered within two hours. So that's much, much faster service than your typical farm. Mary believes farming innovation in cities, both indoor and outdoor, must be the future. We need young people, bright people. We need engineers, scientists, um, you know, creative people who want to be successful business leaders to get into farming, to innovate so that we can improve the way that we farm. And Mary says that the company is making money, turning a profit since its third month in business. That was four years ago. You can learn more about that part of the story on our free ABC7 News app. And stick with us. Steve's going to be back with another check on your forecast after the break.